Thank you all for being here today. Thank you especially to our latest bride and groom, Winnie Shaw and Peter Lee, who are here the day after their wedding and have given us these beautiful flowers from the sanctuary yesterday and gave many of us reasons to believe in love again yesterday. Thank you and congratulations, you two, and China and friends, welcome. We are so glad you're with us this morning. Tomorrow night, the Stewardship Committee, haha, gathers for dinner. We like to start with food. And their inaugural meeting of the year. And meanwhile, all of us have been talking about money for four weeks now. Some of you have been dutiful in journaling and We've all noticed that scripture's thoughts on remembering and releasing and reimagining our relationship between money and faith. One of the most complicated nets Jesus gives the church to weave. And today we turn our attention, our thoughts, to restoring, to restoration, and to make sure that what can be is. Now today is also Orthodox Easter, Christos Anaste is what we say, Christ is risen. And we've noted and you've tasted that it's also Cinco de Mayo, nacho typical church brunch fair, but chip chip hooray for Henry, and talk about a great day. I've got more, I don't have kids, but I've got dad jokes. It's also the five borough bike tour. And as I learned when I got off the subway at 72nd Street today, it's a street fair on Broadway. So if you made it to church at all today, let alone on the day after your wedding, well done, everybody. Good job. Like, hall passes to St. Peter for everybody. This is a testament of your faith, especially after all the other times that you've been here this week. Yesterday, many of you joined for Peter and Winnie's wedding. It was a beautiful service and a festive reception. On Wednesday, many of you joined over 360 other Upper West Siders and New Yorkers for a performance by our community choir and orchestra. 76 members of that in total of Mozart's Requiem. A glorious evening of music and of witnessing our ministry, not just on Sunday mornings, but with 450 people crowding into our sanctuary and our balcony and down the lines, thank God none of them were the New York Fire Department. And this wasn't just about who we are as who we minister to on a Sunday morning. This was who West End Church ministers to in our city, in our diverse neighborhood, and a city that speaks the language of music and art, that hears it and needs it, that wants it restored. With so much going on here in the building, I joked with one of our retired elders yesterday that with a bit more forethought, we should have made today a pajama church day and let you all eat frittata at home. That's not how Sundays work, unfortunately, but what I can tell you here at the end of one incredible week and the start of yet another is that today is National Be Nice to West End Church Staff Day, a day when you can be particularly appreciative of the incredible work of my team who has been stagehands and chefs, waiters and bartenders, program designers, printers, marketing departments, ushers and front of house staffs, floral designers, calm in the midst of storm professionals that they always are. So today is a all help clean up day after brunch. Debbie, Tito, Xavier, Michael Hayek, a name I always need to say both names of, Matt, and of course Henry, this week have all gone above and beyond. Along with our own team, I also want you to know, they're not here with us this morning, but I want you to know how collegiate West End is being. This is part of our story too. Many of you know that when we shuttered Collegiate's Midtown office, West End became the official address of the Collegiate Church of the City of New York and the default workspace for many of our Collegiate employees. Anna Dravis, our senior strategist, and Rosini, Rosani Marcelino, our head of HR and payroll and benefits, regularly join our team here for the workday. Rosani and Anna, completely not part of their job description, but because they find this to be a home, also joined our deacons and elders and Debbie and Xavier and Michael's sister, Abby, and me in opening Prosecco and putting out cheese and serving those 450 people that were here on Wednesday night. It was such a beautiful evening. 
I wish you all could have been there. The buttons on my jacket were straining from the amount of pride I had in what you all did and what this incredible team is doing to restore West End Church. Last year, you may remember that our stewardship campaign centered on a theme of showing West End Church to be alive. These were the words we used from scripture. We looked to the story of Jesus calling the young woman Dorcas back to life, and we prayed and we pledged to call West End back to life. Look what happens when you pray. West End is becoming an ever more vibrant center here on the Upper West Side. For the first time since the collegiate school moved down to the West 60s, eight years ago, we are restoring ministry to all three of our buildings. The sanctuary building, many of our favorites, is alive and restored, not just for one worship service on Sundays, but for three, worshiping about 750 people every Sunday. The classrooms below it are alive and restored for teaching and yoga and scout meetings all week long. We have scouts. You know this, but let me tell you this because here's another source of great pride. We have two scout troops. One, scouts, which is uh, multi-gendered. And here, our scout troop is presenting some of the first female Eagle Scouts in the country. We have three coming up for Eagle Review this year. <laughs> Together with that, we have a Girl Scout troop raising, as each of you know, strong, bold women leaders who will change the world. That happens below the sanctuary all week long. This here chapel building, alive and restored for the first Sundays of worship every month, we're worshiping in our chapel again. That's a restoration with a refreshed kitchen and a restored gym that's getting paint jobs and windows and all the things and old, old pipes taken out of it. The West End Church campus is coming back to life. The school building, restored to occupancy. And all three buildings, together the West End Church campus, together the largest campus in the collegiate system, if anybody says West End is that small collegiate church on the Upper West Side, I have things to say to them. We are the largest of the collegiate campuses. We minister to our city and our neighborhood seven days a week. There are people in here from 7 a.m. to about 10 p.m. most of those days. We are restoring ministry. And part of that restoration is that together these three buildings are all about to conclude a once in a generation, thank God, this is it, construction project, a three and a half million dollar restoration and installation of a comprehensive and energy efficient HVAC system. And for the first time, this boggles my mind, for the first time in its 130 year history, the school building will have sprinklers and a state of the art fire protection and prevention system. We're restoring the building. We're fixing roofs. The organ's coming next. We've got window work happening. There's scaffolding going up. And as you voted several weeks ago and through the diligence of a new member of the collegiate team named Daniel Macias, we met this week with a craftsman and are awaiting the bid for the installation of chancel handrails to restore many of our abilities to get up and down the pulpit steps more safely and with the confidence that God's word is calling to be shared. We are restoring programs. We are restoring ourselves. We are busy. Restoration is not light work, nor is it easy work, but my goodness, it is joyful work. And once upon a time, as you heard from our reader earlier this evening channeling Judy Gorsuch and telling us a story of the Gospel of John, Jesus meets his friends on a beach for a breakfast of fish tacos and sangria. Why not? Scripture doesn't tell us about the garnishes they use, so you can imagine your own. Imagine Jesus on your own beach. Imagine yourself on a beach this cold fall day here at the middle of May. Imagine Jesus on your own beach calling to you and your friends and sitting in the early daylight feeling restored after a long night at sea. Maybe it's a real beach. Maybe it was a real long night. 
Maybe it's just waking up in your own bed after a long night, a sleepless night of dreams that don't let you go to sleep, or to-do lists that won't leave you alone. Long nights, we all know them. Imagine the feeling of restoration. And feel that restoration deep in your souls. Feel it for you and for everyone. Feel it, too, for West End Church. For West End Church is not just alive, as we said it would be last year. It's beginning to restore what you've always known. That we are a community where you can belong. That we believe in hope and promise and dignity and justice. That we welcome all as each is created and that we strive for belonging and equity and diversity as an expression of God's immense imagination. If this is what you believe your church is and will be, then together we can be the people of restoration, people living and building this restoration together, people giving and sharing and leading for this restoration. For those of you who have been faithfully stewarding stewardship journaling, the inner work is soon coming to a close. Next week, after the stewardship committee has dinner on Monday, the next week on Sunday, Mother's Day, Mothering Sunday, we're going to do what so many of us did with our mothers when we were young, on rainy days when we were going to drive her to craziness. We're going to do a craft, Mom said. Let's make Play-Doh. We're not making Play-Doh, but we are going to do a craft together. We're all going to participate in making an art project, a bit of beauty, of decorating our sanctuary in new ways for this reminder of restoration. So come next week, the kids and Matt and Xavier, our resident artist on the building team, will all be leading us in this art project. We're also going to start talking about the work that you've been journaling about. Start sharing it with one another. Start sharing our reflections and testing what we know to be true. Next week, and I will say more about this later in the week, we will also welcome our interim music director and we'll fasten our creativity to our reflections. We'll begin, you'll begin, we will all begin. And together, the stewardship committee will lead us into the waters of starting to pledge our gifts and ourselves, the restored vision of who we are and of who West End Church is and of life and life abundant. But let me not get ahead of myself today. Today is a five-borough bike tour and a street fair and a jazz brunch in Cinco de Mayo and our beloved Henry's swan song. That feels like enough for one morning. Today we can remember and celebrate the gift of music. And indeed, we have been given a great gift. This gift of music that restores our souls. A gift that Henry has given us these past two and a half years a gift that we all so desperately need and that we needed in the midst of and as we came out of pandemic. For today, we live as an Easter people, sure of resurrection and sure too of restoration. If you doubt it, listen for the messengers. They come with music and are lovely indeed. To restore, to build up, to fasten anew, and to thrive. West End Church is so much more than just alive. We are restoring ourselves for a world that needs a witness and that longs for restoration too. How lovely is that? How lovely is that dwelling place? And how blessed are those messengers?